up here. Here you go. Hold still, let me tie you in. So although she has gotten a lot better in the car, she's, she rides in the back seat really well these days, but she still can't be fully trusted to not jump into the front seat. So I just take her leash here and I kind of tie her down that way. We make sure she's just staying in the back where it's safer for her. There we go, all right. You're strapped in, We're ready to go. Be cool, be calm. I'm gonna be headed out shortly here. Just chill out. You excited for your first camping trip? Yeah? Looks like you're about ready for a nap back there. It actually took her a very short time to get used to the sound of the loud diesel engine. It was maybe like one or two car rides before she was just totally chill, sleeping in the back. This is a pretty rough ride when the camper's not on the truck and we've been driving around super bumpy, super loud, and she just sleeps in the back no problem. So fortunately, it wasn't a matter of like really having to train her to get used to the sound. I could see how some dogs, some puppies might not really like it in these old, loud diesel trucks. There you go. That's for the ride. Enjoy. What an absolutely gorgeous day out today. Not a single cloud in the sky. Old Punxsutawney Phil was very, very correct in his prediction that spring was coming early this year. Cause here in Oregon at least, it's just been way drier than it has been the last couple springs. Um, it's been a lot warmer. We've had a lot of days like this where it's like 70 degrees and sunny. It's just gorgeous. The spot that we're headed to to go camp for the night is about an hour away. And it's not actually the furthest drive that she's been in the car for so far. Last weekend, we took Kaya to the coast for the first time. She was playing on the beach, loving the sand. And that was her first like adventure. We didn't spend the night or anything. It was like a, it's like an hour and a half, two hour drive to get there. And she did totally perfectly. She just slept in the car the entire ride in the back seat. She does really well in the car actually. Even if she's super rowdy, um, the moment you put her in the back seat of the car and start driving for a little, she just knocks out. It's kind of like a baby, right? I guess they say with babies, sometimes one way to calm them down is to put them in a car. Speaking of, look at that. <laughs> Literally right on cue. Every time. got some RV campgrounds up front here. There's no water or power hookups or anything. It's basically just large spots for RVs. So I'm gonna see if I can fit my rig into a normal camp spot because I'd rather camp in a normal spot than an RV spot. Especially since there's not even any water or power hookups. Kaya, we're here. Are you excited? You want to go outside? Okay, 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 okay. Let's go outside. Let's go outside. You're so excited. Let's get you out of here. No, you can't climb over me. You gotta wait. I gotta bring you down. Hold on, hold on. Okay, all right. Here we go. What do you think? 
What do you think? Look at her. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Oh, ho, ho. She's definitely still too young to be trusted off leash. So, leash and harness is going to be on for a while. At least until I know she's not going to run away. I don't think she would, honestly. She's pretty good about not going too far. But you never know. You don't want to risk it at her age. I guess we're going to be going on a little bit of a walk. We'll be back shortly, I guess. It's definitely going to be a little bit different filming with a puppy. I'm going to have to kind of get into the groove of it. I'm obviously not going to be able to do as many like setting up the tripod shots and that type of thing, at least for a while while she's still so small like this. So bear with me. Things might feel a little bit different for the next little while, but that's because they are different. They are very, very different. Uh, life has been life has been quite different since getting her, as you could imagine. It feels like the last month that we've had her, I've basically just been on house arrest, which sounds really negative, I know. But honestly, you really just can't do much when you have a young puppy. Your whole life basically centers around making sure that their lives are safe and that they're establishing some routines and training and all that kind of stuff. So you can't really go out on trips, you can't really go out and do that much. So I've just been really focusing on trying to get her up to speed, but now that she's at this point and she's mostly vaccinated, I think from here on forward, I'm gonna start just taking her out on all kinds of different camping trips. That way we just get her right into the swing of things and get her used to this lifestyle. Hey, where are you going? Where are you going? Come back here. All right, keep going. Let's go. Let's go this way. Let's go. Good girl. Good girl. I want to just put this out here just so you guys know. I don't plan on turning this into one of those channels where I just film my dog constantly. Not that there's anything wrong with that. If that's your thing, no hate here. But I definitely am not going to turn this into a channel that's primarily focused on Kaya. But that being said, for the next foreseeable future, as you could imagine, as we are both, as we're all adjusting to this new addition, a lot of the filming is probably gonna gravitate to Kaya because she's just so darn cute. Look at her, look at her. She's just, she's hiding. There she is, look at her. Oh yeah, she's just so darn cute. And she's the newest member of the channel, so it's gonna it's gonna be about her for a little while. But once she's fully trained, once she has grown into, once we have grown into our relationship together, and I can trust her, um, then things will just kind of gravitate back to adventures with the dog, not just dog footage. So I know that some of you guys might be thinking, like, oh man, he's just gonna be filming his dog all the time now. So I just wanted to clear the air a little bit there. So excited, all the new things. All the new things, all the new smells. Where are we? Where are we going? <laughs> oh my gosh, she's crazy. It's like we're truly already connected because right when I was thinking to myself, huh, she hasn't pooped for quite a while. In that moment, literally one second later, I kid you not, she's squatting and pooping. So I think we're pretty much on the same wavelength here. Uh-uh, this way. Oh, nice, good job. Good job. Let's see if she'll go in the water. Go in the water, Kaya, go, go, go. Oh, what's that? What's that, huh? You like that? No, it's probably cold. Let me see here. Oh yeah, that's that's really cold. I don't blame you for getting out. I wouldn't want to go swimming in that right now. So one year in the summer, 
we came down to this exact spot with inflatable inner tubes and you put into the water right here and you just float down the river like a lazy float in your inner tubes for like two and a half miles or so it takes like the whole day it's like a five hour thing but it's so fun when it's obviously better weather and it's warm it's a really nice way to get out here and just be on the water all day and relax and it's a good time someone fly fishing way over there Speaking of fly fishing, I am dying to get out on a fly fishing trip. So maybe the next trip that I do with Kaya here will be a fly fishing trip. I think that the season is officially well underway um, and I'm ready. I'm ready to catch some fish this year. She is a freaking all-terrain vehicle. Look at her. Rocks, sand, water. It doesn't matter. She's ready to go. Oh, we can't jump up there. You're not that big yet. Over here. Good girl, over here, right here. Yeah, there we go. Oh my gosh, look at her. She's freaking running up. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Kaya, you're crazy. Let's go this way, this way. She thinks that we're going back in the truck, so she's refusing to come. She doesn't want to leave. Come on, come this way, we're not leaving. We're staying here. Come on, just come over here. <laughs> there you go. Good girl. All right, so I just picked up this thing, which is a spiral stake with like a 30 foot lead on it. So the way it works is it's kind of like this big corkscrew on the end there. A lot of you guys probably have seen this before, but you just kind of twist it into the ground so you get a good firm hold. And then you hook your dog up to the lead. That way, when you're at a campground like this, you can let your dog kind of explore and roam around, but you also don't have to worry about your dog running away. And especially since she's just a puppy. And like I mentioned earlier, I don't trust her to be just off leash. I think that she probably might go find some trouble for herself. I think that this is like the perfect solution. So I'm gonna get this set up and uh, see how it works. All right. Hey, no, this is not your toy. Not your toy. She's very wound up right now, as you can see. Hey, Kaya, no. Chill out. Chill out. Let's get this thing going here. That looks pretty good. All right. Yeah, that ain't going anywhere. Yeah, she definitely still has her puppy mood swings and she misbehaves quite often still. Typically when she's sleep deprived because puppies need so much sleep. But for the most part, she's, she's getting better. You know, her breed is just gonna make things take a little bit longer since they are a very high energy and independent dog breed. All right, let's see here. Hey, 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 no, Kaya, leave it, leave it. Stop, leave it, leave it. All right, that goes into there. No. Come here, Kaya, come here goes there and now we'll see if that uh, does the trick couldn't get my camera ready in time but she immediately went all the way over there and found out that she's tethered that's actually a pretty good length I feel like that's enough room for her to still be able to get around but also not too far where she gets herself in trouble you're not gonna bite through that dog you're not gonna chew through that Look at her. She thinks she's gonna escape, but she's not. You're not gonna escape, Kaya. Oh, hi. Hopefully she doesn't get all tangled up in the table or the trees or anything like that. That's the only downside with these cables if there's things for it to get tangled up in. So tonight I'm gonna be drinking a steeplejack Northwest 
IPA. Steeplejack is a brewery right here in Portland. Great brewery, great food there. Um, really cool vibe, but their beer's good too. Oh. <sighs> that, that tastes very nice after a long day of wrangling this one and dealing with her. I'll tell you, it's just been the biggest life adjustment to go from having total complete freedom basically to basically having like a child that you have to just take care of all the time, no matter what's going on. <clears throat> it's been an adjustment. It's been an adjustment, but it's getting better every day. Also, I just had like a park ranger come over and he was super cool and super nice, but he told me that this entire regional park actually doesn't allow dogs, which I didn't even think to check on that because new dog owner here and also I would have just assumed that I would have assumed that this place allows dogs but I guess it's because they don't want to disturb the wildlife but humans are already here disturbing the wildlife I don't know it is what it is but he was nice enough to allow me to just stay for the night he said I'm not gonna make you leave you know and go figure out another spot to camp so you, we get to post up here for the night uh, and then I just won't be able to bring her back to this park anymore. It's kind of ironic and funny that the one time, the one time I stay at an actual like established campground, somebody comes and tells me that there are rules that I have to follow. I'm, I'm just used to like camping out in the wilderness and just doing whatever you want basically. So that was interesting, but fortunately we are able to stay. Cheers to that guy, really cool of him to let us stay. She has gone all the way around and gotten herself wrapped up. This way, Kaya, this way. Good girl, yeah, 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 there you go. There you go, this way. No, 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 you're just gonna get wrapped up around there. Here, 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 come on. Come on, 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 this way. Good girl, good girl, good girl. Hey, no, no, that's not yours. Off, 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 off. Hey, no, no. Keeps going for the freaking mic. One of this, these days, she's gonna fully get it. Once again, she has gotten herself completely tangled up. I had a feeling this was gonna happen. Maybe these things aren't great for puppies, especially when there's like a bunch of stuff around that they could get tangled up in. Hey, shh. No disturbing the wildlife. Stop. Look at her. She's tangled up again. Literally every two minutes, she tangles herself up. I put her in the car because she was barking at the deer. <laughs> I forgot that I left the window open. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. When the ranger was explaining the reason why they don't allow dogs here, and he was saying that the dogs disturb the wildlife, I was kind of in my head thinking like, yeah, whatever, that's kind of ridiculous. But she was clearly disturbing the wildlife. There was the deer walking by that I was filming and she was barking right at it and the deer looked pretty disturbed. So, you know what? I don't know if I'm gonna say I agree with it, but I at least understand it. And I understand that they want the deer and other wildlife to not have to worry about getting barked at or chased by dogs, so. All right, I get it. I understand the whole dog rule here. They have really created a sanctuary where the deer are so comfortable that they'll just come like 10 yards away from people. That probably wouldn't exist if dogs were allowed here just because the deer would obviously be more hesitant to approach campsites and people that had dogs with them. So I understand. Also, Kaya is not whining or crying or barking at all right now. So I almost guarantee that she is passed out taking a nap in the back seat right now of the truck, which is great. I'm gonna enjoy it while it lasts.
leash right now. You're off leash right now. Get you some dinner, huh? She's honestly not the most food motivated dog. She's not like your typical dog that's just like super concentrated on food at all times. A lot of the time I feed her and she'll kind of graze a little bit and she won't finish her meal until a little bit later. Like she comes back to it. I don't know if it's just cause she's a puppy. Maybe she'll, uh, as she gets older, have more of a drive for food. But for now, it is what it is. Here you go. Well, well, well. Who do we have here? Well, well, well. We almost didn't make it. I, th I, I thought for sure you guys weren't coming. I was like, <laughs> I was like, oh, well, I guess something happened. It's all good. Well, like, oh, I got Who is that? Who is that? Oh, you just knocked over your entire bowl of food. Hold on, let's go what? over here so she doesn't. Yeah, so she already not, like... pulled herself out of the harness once. Oh my god, where'd she like, go? No. She Nowhere. Her, she just like. like... I mean, hi. I think she'd be fine off leash, but I just hi, don't want to risk it. Hi. Yeah. Hello. Hey. What a surprise. What a surprise. We. I didn't we expect to see you, you guys here. That's kind of weird. Thought we should join you for dinner. So originally, I told them that I was coming here, and if they wanted to come hang out for a bit. Neither of them are gonna be camping with me. We had set the plan in motion, and then I lost reception, and it was like, the gate closes here at seven, and it was 7 p.m., and I was like, okay, something must have happened, they're not coming. And I had given up hope, and then next thing I know, I look up, and there's Tessa's Honda Fit, so. Glad you guys could make it. They didn't wanna miss out on Kaya here in her first camping trip. Help in here, you got it. I'm just really glad that I'm just really glad that you have a stick lighter. Wow, now. look at you like, full swing just going for it. No, like, hey, can you help me set things up? Just I'm hungry, walk in and it's already going. I'm okay. hungry. Well, I'm glad that you figured. I mean, it's based, it's self explanatory, everything is already turned on in here. So, I was just curious about there's yeah, there's more lights. In all of the commotion, Kaya knocked her food bowl over, and she's more excited about eating the food off the ground. Hey, off, 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 off. Uh, why, why do you always jump on Katrina? You're like. Yeah, the only thing I was like, oh, I hope I don't have to use a match or have to use a lot, a little pocket lighter to light the stove and then I saw that I'm like thank god oh I mean the sparker works most oh, of the time okay, too okay. what is that it's porridge congee and then I'm gonna put an egg in it that looks yummy I'm sure I get a portion right because this is uh <laughs> cooked in my hand I don't know I heard you have a pretty tasty pizza on the way that is true that is true look at that yolk Come here. You're being crazy. You need to settle down. Hey, you let go of that. You better not rip that. You better not. I see you. Hi, 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 hi. Settle down. Your whole dinner was spilled. Your whole, whole dinner was spilled. Hey. So since I have Kaya with me, and it's her first ever camping trip, I did not want to plan on cooking anything too involved and extensive and laborsome. So I got one of these frozen pizzas. This is the company, I don't know if you guys remember this, Screamin' Sicilian, but I got this while I was on my cross country road trip. Now, do you guys remember? And it was like one of the best frozen pizzas that I've ever had. So I saw it again at the grocery store and I thought, that's it, this is what we're doing. Also, it's kind of funny that I was the first one here and it's my camper, but both of the girls had their dinner <laughs> before me. They made their dinner first, but that's just part of being a man, right? Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. That is, oh my goodness, that is a burnt freaking pizza. 
Oh God. <sighs> Whew. It is freaking smoky in here. I set a timer, but one thing to keep in mind is these ovens inside of campers don't have the best temperature control. So probably should have set the timer a little bit under the recommendation on the product, but it's okay. The pizza did not completely catch fire, fortunately. It looks pretty charred on the bottom, but it should still be tasty. It's funny because I was sitting, we were literally sitting over there at the bench and we were talking and mid conversation, I just stopped because I was like, it smells like burning pizza. <laughs> I ran in here and it was smoky inside. So I think I got here just in the nick of time though. Who knows, maybe if I would have waited a little bit longer till the timer went off, the whole camper could have caught fire or something which would not be good at all. Aside from that little extra crispy episode, check out how freaking delicious that pizza looks. That looks so good for a frozen pizza. No, it's towards 99, so it's like closer to 24 hours. Oh, that's hot. Bye. Bye. I'll see you tomorrow. Nice hanging out. I'll see you tomorrow. Say bye to everyone. Bye everyone. <laughs> You. You. Can't even see your face. It's just like a voice coming from the black void beyond. It's probably better that way. Peace. Now it's just us, Kaya. You wanna go inside the camper? You wanna go inside the camper? Oh, hey, 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 not the microphone. All right, we're going in the camper. Oh, good girl. Good girl. Oh, good girl. Are you coming down yet, puppy? You are just bouncing off the walls. This is all so new and exciting to you, huh? She's probably so confused right now. She's like, Tessa and Katrina were here. We we're all hanging out, but now they left. And now it's just us, and we're in this camper, and it's nighttime. What are we doing here? <laughs> what a different, what a different experience. This is so far removed from the camping that you guys are used to seeing on this channel. Hey, hey, this is yours. This is yours. Ooh, I almost forgot. One great thing about having a freezer in here is that you could have ice cream. Ice cream while you're camping is quite a special experience because usually you're camping, you just have a cooler or whatever. You can't really bring ice cream unless it's winter out and in which case ice cream doesn't hit as hard. But right now, this is gonna hit the spot. I got the Tillamook. Tillamook sea salt and honeycomb toffee i've never had this flavor before but it sounds phenomenal so let's just give it a shot tillamook is right here in oregon actually but anyways oh my goodness mm. oh my goodness she is so tired She's crashing hard after a long, exciting day. Oh, you were crazy for so long. And now you're finally, you're finally dying down. <sighs> oh, good girl. I am far too lazy to set up the TV right now. So I'm just gonna watch a little bit of TV or a movie on my laptop. Uh, and start unwinding. Little Miss Kaya over here is already knocked out for the night, which I'm not surprised. She's had a long day. She's had a long, exciting day with new, fun experiences. And uh, it's a lot for a three month old puppy to take in, that's for sure. Last potty, huh? Oh, it's 
get you. Back to back. Oh. There you go, puppy. Oh, there you go, puppy. Oh. Good night. Say good night, Kaya. Say good night. Good night. Good night. Go outside. Okay, let's go outside. Let's go outside. Let you go potty. You gotta make coffee. You gotta make coffee. Let's go make coffee. Kaya, go back to bed. Just chill out. <coughs> Let me make my coffee in peace. And then we could go out and play. <laughs> <laughs> she wants to get down, but she can't. Hey, don't chew that. No. <laughs> what is it? What is it? What am I doing, huh? What is it? What is it? I, I hate it. I know. There's literally no scenario where I do this and don't spill anything. So, let's just try to minimize spillage. Okay, that wasn't too much spilled. Woo! Alright. Let's get you some breakfast, pup. Down, down, yes, good down, good down. Stay, uh, stay. Okay, go. There you go. There we go. I know, you wanna stay, don't you? You wanna camp every day. We'll get there. We'll get there. All right, folks. I think that just about does it for this one. It was certainly a very different experience to go camping with a three month old puppy as opposed to solo camping, obviously. But different is good change is good especially this change I think that once we get into a routine and a rhythm and once she gets more used to it it's just going to be well well worth it in the end it was a little bit stressful at times but I mean that's just parenthood right and this little one over here she did so well you did so well didn't you, you did so well you have a fun first camping trip? She keeps trying to bite the mic. I think she's got to go outside to go potty. Yeah, you did good. You did good, Kaya. Couldn't have been happier. All right, anyways, uh, that's going to do it. Thank you guys, like always, for watching. Catch you in the next one. Peace. Kaya, say bye. Say bye. Say bye. Oh, okay, bye-bye. <laughs>